I'm the trawler guy. What's I show everybody around the target and I explain to them what we did. Uh, just to give them an insight into some of the jobs. Uh, please be able to remember. So you were on the trawlers yourself? Yes. What was that like? Great. I've got lots of money. There's lots of fish in the as well. Not just me. So how long were you doing that job for? We started in January 1955 and I finished in the late 70s. So how does the fishing heritage centre represent what life really was like on shore? You can't really explain about this. What, this, what it is, the thoughts have come here and go around to get a proper insight into what fishing was about. If possible, you could start on the target first and then go around the centre because that way it gets a pedestrian insight all the way around the sunset to what it looked like. We always have warning signals on the trawlers and the one on the Ross Tiger is a very, very loud horn. Just like that. <laughs> George Tyrrell, who used to work on the trawler. So George, this is a trawler that you're familiar with. Well, I did, I did a few trips on her when she was a standby ship. They, they should be called her the Cam Tiger when I was on it. Yeah. She, she used to stand by the bridge in the nice way. What was your role on this trawler? Uh, skip from mate. What did that involve? It just involved, involved running the ship, really. Probably doing as you're told, but whatever the oil company suggests we used to do. 